In my last video, I did a brief introduction to the model context protocol, and I did a very basic use case where I connected Claude to my file system, and I allowed Claude to rearrange files on my desktop or the directory I gave it access to. In this video, we're gonna take that one step further. We're gonna add Brave Search and we're gonna add Puppeteer and we're gonna use all three of them together to create an agent. And this agent will be able to search the internet, given the subject we give it, look for recent updates, save all of the updates, including URLs, to a markdown file, then look for photos if possible, but Claude can't download photos yet. I'm sure someone will create an MCP server that can do that. Take all that information and create a short one minute social media script about that subject. After we add all these MCP servers to Claude and they're working, we're gonna create a custom Claude project that has custom instructions to tell Claude exactly how to use these tools, what we're expecting, and it will go through the whole process from doing the research on the subject to creating a markdown file and then creating a script about it and saving it all to your desktop. It's gonna be really quick. There's other ways of doing this, but I just wanna show you with the featured servers what we're able to do and how fast we're able to do it. Let's go. So first of all, if you haven't seen the last video, check it out. In that video, I show you how to set up your config.json file and we put the file system permissions. Now we're gonna add two more. So we're gonna go back to the GitHub and we're gonna look at the featured servers. And in the last video we did file system and we're gonna now use Puppeteer and Brave Search. Puppeteer is a web scraping tool and Brave Search is a search tool. For Brave, you are gonna need an API key. All you have to do is follow this link to create an account. You do need to add a credit card, but it's fine. There is a free tier that gives you up to 2000 queries per month. I think it's like one query per second. That's more than enough for this example. Puppeteer does not need an API key. Okay, so first thing, if you didn't watch the last video about the file system, check it out because it gives you the introduction. It gives you the first few steps of creating that config file. But we're going back into that config file now. So let's just go to VS Code. Okay, so here we're in VS Code. I already added the Brave Search and Puppeteer. I'm going to show you what to add. This is where you put your API key. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, let's go back to the documentation. Let's start with Brave. So because we already have a few of these lines already in our config file, we're going to start from here. And we're just going to copy down to here. Okay, so you're going to take this, copy it, and paste it into your config file as you see here. Don't forget to add a comma between every different MCP server. So we're going to take Puppeteer. Again, we already have these two lines of code, so we're just going to go from here to here, copy it, and paste it into here. You add the comma, and that's it. So this is how your config file should look. You may want to pause the video and make sure that your config file looks similar to this. And again, don't forget to add in your API key. Once you've done all this, press Save, and you can close VS Code. Okay, so now we've added the two extra servers, and we have a total of three servers, the file system, Brave Search, and Puppeteer. Now, if you have Claude on your desktop open, you can close it and restart it, and you should be able to see now 16 MCP tools. And if you click on that, you see Brave Search, you see Puppeteer, and you see all your other file system tools we added last time. Okay, so I'm not even gonna test this out. I'm gonna go straight into creating the Claude project. I called it Research Test Using MCP. The way Claude projects work, I made a whole different video on this, but basically you could add custom instructions and you could add a knowledge base. But we just gave Claude all these extra tools. So all I did was create custom instructions and the custom instructions tell Claude exactly how I wanted to act. And you can create custom instructions with Claude itself. And that's exactly what I did. I'm gonna tell you more or less what my custom instruction says because it's kind of long. I told Claude that you're a rapid research assistant. I told it how I wanted to behave. I tell it's research protocol. Gather information from minimum three reputable sources per claim. Focus on recent developments within the last year. Verify claims across multiple sources. Include official documentation statements when available. Always deliver the content in this manner. Get official photos, media sources, and then create a one minute social media script. I give it content requirements. I tell it to look for photo sources. I give it an example of how the script should look like. I give it formatting guidelines because I want this to come out in a markdown file and then save it to my computer. I give it a response format. I tell it if it doesn't have a directory, create this directory, a folder on my desktop, then save your findings to a file with this title, save the file in this format, make sure you created the file, and then give me a brief summary of the content in the chat. Okay, so basically I just told Claude to use all these tools in a certain way and let's see what happens. So now let's just test it out. All we're gonna type in is Elon Musk. So it's already starting. I'll help you research Elon Musk, following the specified protocol, initiating comprehensive research on Elon Musk. And it has to ask for permission. 
And I guess for right now, in the beginning, it's going to ask for permission on every new chat for every tool it wants to use. I think in the future, they're going to eventually put a button like allow for all chats. But right now, it's the beginning. That's fine. You can see the steps it's going through. Search for recent verified information. Gather additional information about Tesla and other ventures. Wants to use file system. Allow. Creating a structured research document. Now writing the research. And again, I love how it's working in steps. I don't know if this counts as chain of thought, but it kind of is. Okay, so it went through the whole process. It says research complete, markdown file created here. Gives me a brief summary. And let's just look at that file really quickly. Internet research, Elon Musk research. Let's open that up. And again, so here we see it's in a markdown file. We see it starts with the title, the date, latest major updates. It has five different updates here, all with bullet points. It gives me photo sources, and then it created a one minute social script. And now we have this one minute social script. You could read it yourself. You could give it to Notebook LM or one of these AI narration tools to make a social media video. It's really cool. And this is just the first attempt. Like we could keep iterating on this and make the script better, make the research better. I'll tell you one other thing. I would do something like this with Crew AI before. And though Crew AI has many more features as of now, this is a lot easier to set up. So I just want to show you this other use case where we combined two other featured servers that come within Anthropics MCP. I think it's super powerful that I can do this with Claude on my desktop, a little agentic system with a few lines of code, a few modifications. And again, Claude is just the current setup right now. It doesn't have to be Claude. This is an open source protocol. There will be more servers created by individuals, by companies, this is just the beginning. I can think of so many other use cases. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any other ideas or you want me to try something else out. I'm gonna keep making videos on MCP because I think it's very powerful. And thanks for watching. Happy Thanksgiving and have a great weekend.